my name is Lena, welcome to my channel and uh, I'd like to talk to you about the saga of King Rolf Kraki, about the third and fourth part of the saga. The third part is uh, um, rather uh, common. <laughs> it's about a hero, Sweep Duck, who wants to serve a king. He's bored in the woods, in the um, mountains. Uh, he misses socializing and uh, he probably wants recognition because he is a good fighter. All his brothers are. He wants to serve a king and the only king available at hand is King Adis, who is not a very nice person. You know, in the last part he killed Helgi, uh, the father of his wife, Queen Irsa. Queen Irsa is very unhappy about that, and she would really love to avenge her father and to get twelve berserkers who killed him, killed. But she, uh, she is uh, unable to do that. She's not a man, and she doesn't have. A following. She doesn't have a hero available, and here comes Sweep Duck, and uh, Berserks immediately pick up fight with him, and he kills four uh, very quickly, four of them. And the whole story is about Sweep Duck uh, fighting for King Adils, but fighting his Berserks at the time at the same time and killing um, most of them. Um, he had to defend the uh, country from outlaws and Vikings and from the Berserks. And in the last battle, he is seriously wounded and he loses an eye. And he decides that he doesn't want to serve this ungrateful King Adis anymore. He wants to go and serve King Rolf, who is the son of Queen Irsa. Uh, and the only magical part of it, I believe, is that the father of Sweet Duck um, was a prophet. He could see the future. And he actually sent his other son to help Sweep Duck in this last battle when King Addis didn't show up to help him. It was very interesting, very gripping, very entertaining. But the fourth part was, <laughs> I think, uh, the most strange and unusual uh, saga I have ever read so far. It's about a king of Norway, Hrin, who had a son, Bjorn. But his wife was dead and he wasn't that old yet, and he wanted to remarry, and he sent his people uh, on the search of a suitable wife for him. And they ran into some very bad weather on the way, and they were hiding out in a household somewhere and they met a beautiful woman who claimed to be a princess and taking her by her word they uh, went back to Norway and King Hring liked her immediately and married her right away and this woman was a witch so <laughs> she thinks that King Hring actually told for her and starts paying advances to his son Bjorn in his absence. But Bjorn rejects her advances. And then she curses him and he became a shapeshifter. He is a huge bear uh, during the day and he is a man at night. Uh, so, Bjorn had a girl, Bear. They are in love and Bear finds him and they live together for some time. 
Of course, uh, eventually Bjorn is hunted down and killed. And Bera is pregnant, but somehow this queen witch knows about it, and she uses her magic again. And Bera knows that she uh, shouldn't do it, but she had to eat some of the flesh of her husband, shapeshifter. Uh, she spits it out, but some parts goes down. And that curses her children. Her firstborn son is Frodi, uh, and he has a head and a torso of a man, and uh, his lower body is a body of an elk. And he is uh, very, very strong. Eventually he becomes a robber, uh, kind of an outlaw, and he robs and kills people. Her second son is Torir, and he has dog paws. Uh, he uh, doesn't have arms and legs, he has paws of a dog. But he becomes a king at some part of the country. And her uh, youngest boy, Edvar, was born just a human being, but he was uh, much uh, less <laughs> strong. Uh, he had a usual strength of a human being. His brothers were much, much stronger. And he wants to serve King Hrolf for some reason and comes looking for him. He meets his brothers. Uh, both of his brothers want to give him half of their fortune and want him to stay with them. And uh, I believe it's Frodi who actually makes him his uh, younger brother's Bedouar drink his blood, this tainted blood, and Bedouar becomes a very, very strong man. He's so strong, actually, that he uh, kills a dragon. But his greatest achievement is that he defends a weak person, a weak a servant of uh, King Hrolf. He defenses him from bullying. Uh, he fights people, and I think he killed someone in the process. And uh, this person becomes his friend, a kind of sort of protege. And Bedvar takes this uh, man with him. Uh, when he goes fight dragon and makes him drink the blood of the dragon and this weakling becomes a very very strong powerful warrior he is probably even stronger than Bedwar himself so King Rolf actually got himself three very very strong and, and powerful uh, warriors I guess in the next part we will find out why he needs them. Thank you for watching, goodbye and happy reading.